Oh, thank goodness we killed it, right? Okay. Let's just smash him for good measure. This is an issue. This is not good. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wine and Watch. My name is Ashley, and today I am just drinking water. I uh, recently got back from a lot of traveling where I was drinking a fair amount, so taking a break, which is another reason why it's taken me so long to get this video out for you. Uh, we're going to be watching the fourth Harry Potter movie, which I think is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It's taken me a while just because I ended up traveling and you know just life got in the way and there's just been a lot happening right now um so it, i've just fallen a little bit behind it's easier for me to get um breaking bad and the boys out just because it's not as time consuming uh the harry potter movies are really long so you know it's a long time to watch and then it takes a really long time to edit them so i apologize for the delay but here we are and um, I'm excited to continue on this series. I will say that the last movie so far was my favorite Harry Potter movie. And even though there was the spider incident, the Bogart spider or whatever, um, someone did warn me that there might be a small spider appearance in this movie, but I appreciate the warning, so hopefully uh, everything will be okay because I will be a little bit prepared for it. We're, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, last movie we saw that Sirius Black ended up not being a bad guy. He actually ended up being Harry's godfather. Um, we let him escape for a bit, so hopefully we can clear his name. I don't know if he's going to be in any future movies. Um, but that was great. He did say that Harry could live with him. I'm not sure if that means now while well, he's still kind of on the run with, um, with Buckbeak. Shout out to Buckbeak. Love Buckbeak. Um, because I really don't want Harry to go back to his aunt and uncle's house because they're really crappy people. Um, but other than that, uh, love that part of it. Uh, I did mention in the last movie a couple times, and some of you did help me out, that I said that we did not kill Voldemort, but we killed Tom Riddle. But it turns out that I was just mistaken, and that Tom Riddle is Voldemort. So I guess we did kill him. I guess, um, I guess that's not an issue. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going to happen moving forward, but I am excited. So this is the fourth one. I feel like I'm really in it now. We've gotten through the first three. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. See them a little bit older in this movie. Hopefully uh, we'll get a little bit more of, you know, the world building. Um, I really like that in the last movie, seeing a little... Well, in every movie, we get a little bit more, and I love that. I love the little details of things. So, yeah, I guess um, that's it for the uh, recap of what happened. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that I post. We are currently watching Breaking Bad, The Boys, and the Harry Potter franchise. So yeah, I guess that's it for right now. Let's get into it. I have to say out of all of the names of the movies and the Goblet of Fire to me just like hits the best. I guess the next one would be Chamber of Secrets so far. I don't know about the futures. Not that anyone cares, but you know, I'm a sucker for a good name. What's with me? The hey my god. Oh, who the hell are you? Oh! Edward Cullen! Quid oh, Quidditch World Cup. Okay. Irish flag. I love Ireland. If any of my people who are watching are from Ireland, let me know in the comments below. I love Ireland. I've gone twice. It's fantastic. Damn, what the hell is happening? Who the hell are these people? This is like a World Cup event. Quidditch World Cup event. But well, why is this being allowed to happen? You would think that they'd have more security, but things better under control. You can discover that the seal of blood. Fright? What? They're just kids. What fright? It's the dark mark. Harry's his mark. Voldemort. Those people tell me. In the masks. 
Follows. Y'all told me Voldemort was dead. Death Eaters. Death Eaters. Oh, there was a man. Before. Uh, there. Yeah, and where was Follow he again. from? This way. Man, Harry. Who? I don't know. Yeah, who? That's what I'm trying to figure out, too. I didn't see his face. Well, that's a lie. Hey, girlies. Thank you. Oh, why are we giggling? How can the ministry not know who conjured it? Isn't there any security? That, or... Yeah, girl, that's what I said. I'm so worried them so much. It's happened right under their noses. Okay, well, we need to get tighter security. What the hell is Wal why is Walter Frey running like that? You guys did let me know that Dumbledore it is a different actor. So I wasn't just tripping. So I appreciate you guys helping me with that. Why is he running like that? Like straight up knees to chest kind of kind of thing. Okay, that's cool. Damn, she's tall. Oh, these people look aggressive. This reminds me of Dauntless. <laughs> Whoa, okay. No, this is like Dauntless. Look at them running around being crazy. Do we do anything cool and special like this when we're announced? I mean, what do we do? They had like cool little performances. What do we do? Eternal glory. That's what awaits the student who wins the Triwizard Tournament. But to do this, that student must survive three tasks. Three extremely dangerous tasks. Count me out. For this reason, the Ministry... After due consideration, the Ministry has concluded that for their own safety, no student under the age of 17 should be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. This decision That's is... Right. That's right! Wow. Oh, is this the Goblet of Fire? That's kind of cool. The Goblet of Fire! Hey! Is this Snape? Oh no. He's the headmaster of the... I already forget the name of the school. Alistair Moody. Oh, I think this is where someone said there was going to be a spider. Hey, I will say his eye is cool. When it comes to the Weasley! Yes? Sans! Oh shit. If it has to do with him, it's probably the spiders, isn't it? Of course. Oh, there's lots of insects happening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> gross, gross, gross. Oh, fuck that. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, it's on his face. Oh, I would die if I was in this place. No. Oh, we. Let's torture him. Yeah, let's torture him and kill him and. I'm all about torturing the spider. Um. All right, I've had enough. Oh. Oh, thank goodness we killed it, right? Okay. Let's just smash him for good measure. Only one person is known to have survived it. Harry Potter. And he's sitting in this room. I'm still confused on the first curse. So the second one is a torture curse. The last one is a killing curse. Maybe I just missed it because I was distracted by the spider. Okay, I think we're good. No more spiders. Okay, I feel better. I'm a very compassionate person and I don't like people being harmed, but when it comes to spiders and most insects, I'm like, kill that bitch, you know? That's how I feel. Not when it comes to animals, but when it comes to spiders and insects. Yeah. Oh, is this a scrum, scrim, whatever his freaking name is? I guess he's 17. Not the look at Hermione. Okay, I'll admit he's kind of good looking. He was eyeing Hermione a little bit. The gunset champion is Victor Crump. Mm. 
champion from both ends. Sarah, get it to her. Way to get it, girly. It's gonna be it's gonna be Edward Cullen, isn't it? Cedric Diggory did that. Guy put in a, a, put in Harry's name. He's not even at the age limit he should be at. I'd be like, hey y'all, it's a mistake. I never put my name in. It was that other headmaster guy that like went in with the goblet of fire by himself. He put his Harry's name in, didn't he? He didn't even say a word. Harry just like went with it. I'd have been like, no. Sorry y'all, this this ain't it. The goblet of fire is an exceptionally powerful magical object. Only an exceptionally powerful confundus charm could have hoodwinked it. Magic way beyond the talents of a fourth year. You seem to have given this a fair bit of thought, Medai. It was once my job to think as dark wizards do, Karkaroff. Perhaps you remember. I think you did it. Shot. You gotta do it. No choice. Really? It's that it serious? As of tonight, a tri wizard champion. Okay, this must be a really serious situation because everyone is being really dramatic. Maybe I'm just not aware of how crazy this thing is going to be. They're all like super fearful. Do nothing. Offer him up as bait. Bait? What are we? It's a boy, not a piece of meat. What are we putting them up for that we're okay to put 17 year olds up for? Keep an eye on Harry, will you? I can do that. Don't let him know, though. Be anxious enough as it is. How did you do it? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Why is he so Might mad? Be friend, though, though. Now, you know what? You know bloody well what. I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. Yeah. Okay? You being stupid. Yeah, he is. Okay, Ron. Now is not the time <laughs> to be all up in your feelings. I didn't put my name in that cup. Oh. Serious. Okay, so that's how he's doing it. I don't have much time, Harry, so let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the copy of the fire? No. He? I had to ask. Now, tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned one tail and Voldemort, but who was the third man in the room? I don't know. You didn't hear a name. No. He's the actor that I can't figure out where I've seen him before. Oh, I'm just my job today. Something important. So what was that? He wanted me. I haven't a clue of what you're naming that got with Harry, but whoever did is no friend to you. Mm -hmm. And people die in the storm. Die? Not ready for this serious. You don't have a choice. What kind of tournament is this that we're putting children in? Okay, so I was mistaken earlier. That was a dream that Harry had. So maybe Voldemort really isn't alive. Maybe he did die with t Tom Riddle, whatever is Voldemort. Maybe they really did die. Who I'm confused. It? I don't know. Hagrid's looking for me. Well, you can tell Ron. I'm not an owl. Yeah, leave her out of this and run. You're so freaking angry. Get over yourself. Dragons. That's the first task. You're joking. Come on, Harry. 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 Didn't Ron tell you that? <laughs> no, because Ron's being crazy right now. No, he didn't. Dragons. That's the first task. They've got one for each of us. Come on, Sed! Are you serious? And, um... The Sir and Crumb today. Yes. Come on, Sed, leave him! Right. It's not worth it. Read the badges, Hey, listen, about the badges. I bought some of the word of them. Don't worry about it. It's not like I tried to bolt things up exactly. 
Do we got anyone with Harry Potter badges on? Anyone on our side? Yeah, you know that. I think so. I know so. Anything else? Yeah. Stay away from me. <gasps> oh. Why are we being like this? Why can't I take the And you're just pathetic. Yeah. Pathetic. Oh, no, you're not funny. <laughs> I think you're the customer on the register. You're stinking. Cowardly. Stomach. Fucking. What are you doing? Teacher. Is it? Is it a Technically, it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm kind of with it. Alistair, we never use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely Dumbledore told you that. <laughs> well, I have to say, Malfoy, he deserved it. He, oh, <laughs> he deserved it. He gets away with too much. He needed to be taught a little lesson. I can't believe we're putting these kids in these in this tournament, and they could die. Oh shit! Are they like picking out which dragon they're gonna? The word screen. I will say, these tiny little dragons are super cute. The Swedish short snout. Sleeves. The horn tails with him. The Hungarian horn Okay, but they're so cute when they're little like that. Oh, there's the egg. Okay. Watch your back. Bye. Oh, but what a beauty. Oh, it's chained up. While you were sitting and waiting, you had to have thought of a plan. What are you going to do about this dragon? Oh, shit. Here, you have a wand for a reason. Oh shit. Should that be happening? I don't think that should have happened. What's the whole point of having him tied up? Chained up. Okay, well they're doing a lot of damage to the school. Okay, great. I hope, is the dragon okay? Can we be friends again? I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own way in the cup of the fire. Go on, have you? Tea long enough? Well, the ring might say you've done it. Everyone will say it behind your back. Yeah, but not everyone is your best friend. Brilliant. I told Hermione to tell you that Shane has told me the Vardy Gold Ding that Hagrid is looking for you. Seamus so never actually told me anything, so it really me all along. Okay, Ron, you had to make everything so difficult. How could you figure that out? Who, who could possibly figure that out? It's completely mental. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were both tripping. That was ridiculous. Are the dragons okay, though? Okay, well, so far, so good. I guess we're not going to see the, um, the Dursleys. Are we done with them for the rest of the franchise? That would be wonderful. They totally are into each other. Okay, that was weird. And then he died just when I started school. So I sort of had to make me all my years away. But enough of me. What about you? Oh, not all the girls after him. Oh, but he's eyeing Hermione again. Maybe he's into the studious girls. Oh, girl. Jeez. It's one thing for a bloke to shut up, for a girl it's just sad. Yeah. I wouldn't be going alone because believe it or not, someone's asked me. And I said yes. She's not alone. 
<laughs> is it Scrum, Scram, whatever his freaking name is? Of course I'll take it. I just wanted to get... I just think maybe you want to go cool with me. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Um, I was just wondering if maybe he wanted to go to the ball with me. Oh. Sure, he um, said yes to someone. Harry, I... I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Um, well, I've, I've said I'll go with him. No worries, girly. Okay. Yeah. Great. Fine. No problem. I mean, it is a little awkward for him, but, like, what's she gonna do? She already said yes Hi. to someone. I really am. Sorry. I mean, is it really the end of the world if you go by yourself? I think she probably. Don't you think she wouldn't tell us who she's coming with? It, that's from Scrim guy. Nobody asked her. I would have taken her myself if she wasn't so bloody proud. I don't think that's the case. Go with them! Dashing. Oh, here you are, Potter. Are you and Miss Patel ready? Ready, Professor? Depends. It's traditional that the three champions, well, in this case, four, are the first to dance. She may have told you that. No, you didn't. Oh, you well, now you know. Oh. <laughs> you, may, you may proceed into the great hall with Miss Patil. Okay, so we got a date. She is with Scrum Scrim. I knew it. I knew it. The way he was eyeing her. But she does look great. That's a pretty dress. Not a huge fan of the hair, but like maybe, you know, the year that this came out, it probably did a little bit better. Oh. And so be it. Maybe he does want to be more than friends with her. Who cares? Good for them. It's using you. How dare you? Besides, I can take care of myself. Dare? He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? That's what I think. You know the solution then, don't you? Go on. Next time there's a war, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, that's the sign. And it's just completely off the point. What's yeah. happening right now? Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. They're scared of the make it older. Oh, you spoiled everything! This way. What's going on? Hermione says, oh, Hagrid, don't be that guy. Hermione said, ask me before someone else does next time. Basically, like, you should have built up the courage to ask me before and not as a last resort. And then he got kind of weird about it. Are they into each other? Or am I overthinking it? I'm catching a vibe. Oh, it's that dream again. Where do I know that guy? I know. First season of Jessica Jones. That's it. I forget his name in the show, but he was in the first season of Jessica Jones. Oh my gosh, that. Okay, I feel better now that I figured it out. Actually, maybe talk at all. It is more of a physical thing. What does that mean? Because we're just dancing the whole night? I just mean he's not particularly loquacious. Mostly he watches me study. It's 
Chris and Lloyd, actually. You are trying to figure this egg out, aren't you? What's that supposed to mean? Just means these tasks are designed to test you. In the most brutal way, they're almost cruel. And then... I hope this scrum guy isn't going to use Hermione. Look, I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. Yeah, maybe help us with this I'm egg sure sitch. Done the same for me. Exactly. You know the prefects bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Okay. That's nice. I hope you're being genuine and you're not trying to make things worse for us. But... Oh, like literally get in it? Is this safe? Okay, Myrtle. Let's chill. Myrtle, you're crazy. I'm concerned. I'm just gonna throw this theory out there that that scrum, scrim guy, whatever, is hanging around Hermione when she's in the library, and he's that's like she said that he just stares at her when she's studying. Maybe he did like some spell, and he's trying to like read her mind, knowing that she's best friends like with that. Harry. Not Jean Potter, just we see in Granger. But sir, second time's only And he's using her to like get ahead Potter's of the competition. Right now, if that's the case, I'm sleep. not okay Good. with that. Now. Well, otherwise. I don't know about turn it, but you can know what she's dealing with. You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. For an hour. Most likely. Most likely. Most likely? Well, there's some debate among herbologists as the effects of Fresh water versus salt water. You're telling me this now? You must be joking. I just wanted to help. Well, that makes you and Rice are better than Ron and Hermione. Where are they anyway? You seem a little tense, Harry. Do I? Yeah, he might die right now with the way that these games have been working out. Oh, it gives him gills! Oh my gosh. And his feet and his hands, they're webbed. What the hell is this? <gasps> is that Ron? Oh my god, is that Hermione? So they stole not objects, but people that mean something to them. So he undid. Is that for Scrum? Is Hermione for Scrum? Oh yeah, and that's Cho, or whatever. The girl that he went with. Oh! But she's my friend, Tubby! Oh, wow. oh shit! Oh! Was that Scrum? Scrum Scrim? I don't freaking know. I keep forgetting his name. Okay, well, let's get Ron out of here. But what about that girl? Is she just gonna die because the other girl couldn't manage to do it? That doesn't seem right. That is not okay that they just stole people and put their lives at risk like, at risk like that. Like, that's not cool. Oh, he's bringing them both up. Oh. He's losing his power. 
Oh shit! Oh no! What the hell? They're having a feeding frenzy on him. Who just saved him? Does it count because they both came up? Harry, come on. Get it together. You're so close. That counts, right? He saved Ron in time. Why are they putting these poor people in danger like that? Oh. What the hell is this? It's one thing that they put the people competing in danger. All right, that's good. Is this the headmaster of Augustus Rookwood of the Department of Mystery? No, no, the same. He passed information to know who from inside the ministry itself. The one that I think that put Harry's name in the goblet of fire. Junior. Oh shit. Is that his son? You Oh, okay. I feel so much better knowing that he was in Jessica Jones now. That was really bothering. But I figured it out. <laughs> Not them cheering on Crumb. Oh, I don't know if I like this now. This is eerie. Oh shit. This makes me feel claustrophobic. Oh no. Let's not hurt each other. Something scary is about to happen. I don't like jump scares. Crumb did that to her? That's not fair. I hope he didn't like kill her. Okay, so we have to be on defense right now with our wand. What happened right now? What is going on? Did could he tell that you that was you or why are why were his eyes glazed over like that? Like they were like foggy. Like it honestly looked like he had cataracts. <laughs> Don't tell me she's like dead dead. Gosh, what is going on? No, don't stop. And he's bewitched, Hedrick. You don't he's bewitched. Oh no. Now they're going against each other. It's whoever touches it first, right? Yes. He's bewitched, but how did he get bewitched? Did the maze just do that? Oh no. What's happening? Harry just... Oh, he's being too good of a person. He wants to save everyone. Okay, now let's keep it pushing. Don't let him get ahead of you. For a moment there, I thought you were going to let it get me. 
I know, I kind of, yeah. It's like the maze does take over. Someday. Maybe that's how Scrum got bewitched. Oh no. This is crazy. Why is this a thing? You saved me, take it. Riddle. Oh no, this can't be good. We have to get back to the cup. Now. What are you talking about? Oh shit. Ah! No! Ah! What is get back to the cup? Ah! You're lying, that's like a tiny little Voldemort. <laughs> what? Oh my god, no! Okay, I cannot get over little baby Voldemort. <laughs> what the hell is this? Did we kill Edward Cullen? Okay, so Voldemort wasn't dead. I was right. I guess you guys just didn't want me to ruin it for myself, but... This is crazy. So we're like bringing him back to like full strength life, huh? He's not gonna be a little baby Voldemort. That was wild. He just like carried out like a little baby Voldemort. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Yeah, he's not a baby anymore. He's fucking gross, actually. Damn, he's full grown. I liked him better when he was a baby. Ugly as ever. All right. This is an issue. This is not good. Put some shoes on, my guy. This isn't Coachella here. That's Malfoy's dad. And he said Crab Goyle. Does that mean the Crab and Goyle that are Malfoy, Draco and Malfoy's friends? Was that their dads? Oh, get your foot off his face. Hey, oh, I'd almost forgotten you were here, standing on the bones of my father. I'd introduce you, but word has it you're almost as famous as me these days. Of my father. How lies affect your legendary? Shall I reveal what really happened that night thirteen years ago? Shall I divulge? So is Riddle his father? Or is Vol? It was love. You see, when dear swings have changed. Okay, so now you can touch him. I can okay. Touch him. Why do you gotta be so dramatic about it? Shit. He can touch you. Ew! You're being weird. Harry, you gotta get it together. You gotta fight back. Yeah, let's fight back. Ooh, okay, okay. We can hang a little bit. Oh, maybe not. All right. What's happening? Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the portkey. We can leave for a moment to give you some time. Only a moment. Is that his dad? Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. He, that's his mom, his mom and dad. Oh my god! So Robert Pattinson really did die in this! He said take my body back to my father. He's back! He's back! Voldemort's back! Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. Alright, Harry. Oh my gosh. He's home. You 
That's his son. That's my son! This is my boy! My boy! This is devastating. What was it like? What was he like? The Dark Lord. Don't tell me you're a part of this. What was it like? To stand in his presence. I don't know. It was like oh. Fool, it's one of my dreams. Fuck. What's happening? Something's wrong with him. He bewitched the cup. Marvelous creatures, dragons, aren't they? What? Do you think that miserable oaf would have led you into the woods if I hadn't suggested it? He said it, did he? Told you to open the egg underwater if I hadn't told him first, I said. You think never long bought him to witness wonder? Could have provided you a guinea pig if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it. I thought you were a good you guy. Me, you put my name in the goblet of fire. You bewitched Trump, but... but that's you won because I made it so butter. You ended up in that graveyard tonight because it was meant to be so. And, and I was blaming... <sighs> Crumb's headmaster. <laughs> and it was you! Silence. Harry Potter. Wow, okay, perfect timing. not see this all coming. Don't tell me he's dead. You all right, Alistair? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Alistair. Yeah, who the hell are you? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Uh. Barty Crouch, Junior. Hmm. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Lord Voldemort has returned. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. But not to do so, I think, would be an insult to his memory. I think so, too. Now, the pain we all feel at this dreadful loss reminds me and reminds us that while we may come from different places and speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. Are we going to tell anyone that Malfoy's dad is, like, no good, that he's working with Voldemort? I think that's important information we should pass along. Oh. 
Is this really gonna be like a love story kind of thing that's happening or what's going on? Uh oh, because it's summer and we're leaving. Yeah, Harry, where are you going? Are you going to the Dursleys? Cause I'm not a fan. Okay, I will say, I think this one's my favorite movie so far. I, I mean, at the end, I feel like I'm not satisfied with the ending, but like, you know, that's to be expected because there's more movies, you know, that are going to happen. So why would we end, you know, like, of course, we're going to have some like loose, loose ends to tie up because we're not at the end of the franchise, but I really did like this movie. Uh, it was interesting to me. I liked seeing the other schools being involved and getting to see like what they're like. But I feel like there's a lot of things where I'm like, okay, what are we gonna do about this? Like Draco's father, are we not gonna bring up the fact that he's working with Voldemort? Like that seems like a big issue that we should address. You know, we should at least tell Dumbledore or something like, that's not okay, right? Wouldn't the Ministry of Magic be like all over his ass for that? And same with like, Crab and Goyle, I think. Is that like they're the ones who were friends with Draco? Voldemort said something like, oh, Crab, Goyle. So is that their dads who were also involved with Voldemort? I don't understand that part, but that seems like an issue we need to figure out. And I'm curious if Crum, Crum, Crim, Crum, him and Hermione, is that going to be, like, a thing? But also, like, I got a weird vibe from Hermione and Ron a little bit. Just, like, slightly. Oh, my gosh. I'm sad about Robert Pattinson's character dying. That was sad. But overall, like, I thought this was very interesting. I'm sad we didn't see Ron's mom. I think this is the first movie where we haven't seen her. She was referenced, but we didn't see her. So that was unfortunate. Um, but, yeah, okay. I really like this movie. I thought it was good. I was completely invested. Obviously didn't like the spider aspect. Um, but all right. I mean, other than that, it was great. I'm confused about Professor Moody. So he was trapped. Does that mean he was trapped the entire time? Or we were dealing with Professor Moody a little bit in the beginning and then he got trapped in there by what's his face? Uh, is Are we going to get to see, like, the real Moody next movie, or are we donezo with that? I feel like we continuously keep getting a new dark arts teacher, uh, so I don't know if that's going to be the case next movie. Um, but yeah, okay, big fan so far. I'm excited to go into the next one. I actually don't know the name of the next one at all. Um... But like I said, I think this is my favorite movie, and I think it has the best title, The Goblet of Fire. Like, that's kind of lit, you know? And it was like a literal goblet of fire that they were, like, throwing their names in. Like, that was cool. Uh, let me know out of the first four movies, which is your favorite movie. Again, out of the first four. Go ahead and help me answer a few of my questions if it's not going to be a spoiler. If it is, don't, don't mention it. Um, but if there's anything that you could like help me understand better, please feel free. I do read the comments and it helps me understand better about what's going on. But thank you so much for joining me today. This is a great movie. Um, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that I post. We are currently watching Breaking Bad, The Boys, and the Harry Potter franchise. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye!